welcome to another session of Mark Harvel Art painting tutorial. Um, in this particular tutorial, um, what I want to accomplish is laying in oils on top of my acrylic. So what I've done here is I've painted in uh, this village scene. I'm going to call this this painting uh, Lamplight Village. I've got lots of little lamps um, and, and little lighting just kind of splattered through the village. And um, now that I've added this in an acrylic, uh, I want to come back through now with my oils and I really want to cause some of the uh, areas of this painting to really kind of pop. Um, the great thing about um, acrylic is that it dries very quickly. The challenge with it drying quickly and also being water-based is that when that water evaporates, oftentimes the color in the acrylic starts to turn a little bland, it kind of darkens, and it almost takes on sort of a chalky effect. Um, which you can sort of combat against if you add several layers of thickness in your acrylic paint. Um, but what I like to do when I lay in my painting in acrylic um, is going back on top of it with oil. Um, and for those that don't know, you never want to put uh, acrylic on top of oil uh, because one is oil-based, one is water-based. Um, and water and oil, as we all know, don't mix but you can put acrylic and then oil on top of that. That's perfectly fine. Um, and so that's what we're gonna be doing now. Um, putting this together in a, in a video because it's quite a, a detailed involved painting would require a lot of time. Maybe in a future video, uh, I'll do another uh, scene, something maybe similar to, to this with a lot of housing and detail. Um, but in this particular segment, I just kind of want to lay in these oils now. Um, and, and the oil comes in, it's, it's very vibrant. When you apply it, it doesn't dull. The color that you apply, it, it dries that, that same vibrant color. Um, and so that's, that's pretty helpful. So what we're going to do now is I've got my oil palette laid out here. I'm going to add some glazes. Um, specifically, uh, and I've already kind of got, gotten ahead of myself. I did add some, some oil glazes here in all the shadowed side of, of this village uh, by using uh, raw umber and doxazine purple and um, liquid. Liquid is my media. Uh, now what I'm going to do is come through on, on the sunny side of the village and uh, add some more glazes. But this time I think what I want to do is I want to sort of tone down because I want to have this painting be very sort of like um, late late afternoon, early evening. Um, the sun is beginning to kind of set. We've got, of course, the pink uh, background in the sky. Uh, I just think that this area here is just entirely too sunlit. So I'm going to go ahead and kind of ratchet that back a little bit by using some some oil glazes and uh, the colors I'm going to use are going to be burnt sienna, dioxazine purple, and um, my my liquid. Um, and these two colors are very transparent so everything that I've added here at the bottom uh, under under painting here in acrylic uh, will show through very nicely. So uh, we'll, we'll start to add some glazes um, I might come through and start adding uh, some other touch-ups and some other areas to really kind of bring out some vibrancy here. So uh, without further ado, without any more explanation, um, let's go ahead and jump into this. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
Okay, up to this point, uh, we've come through and sort of um, ratcheted back the that really bright sunlight on on the sunlit side of our village. Just brought it down just a couple notches, uh, added a little bit more of a um, a tannish brown um, sort of coat to it, so that it, it's it kind of I think better. Um, jives with kind of the theme of the painting, which again is that that late late afternoon, early evening um, sort of a feel that we'd like to achieve. Um, I went through here and added re added the shadowing, uh, which you saw me do uh, here on all of our stonework um, throughout the bridge and and into some of the stones on the housing. Um, now what I want to do is I've mixed together my titanium white, some, some uh, Windsor yellow, and a little bit of um, sap green. Now those colors, I've created a very, very light lime color. And I'm going to come through now and I'm going to kind of work in some of the tree line and even back here into the large foresty area as well as some of the some of the um, ivy that we see kind of growing along here, uh, I want it to um, take my take my brush, and I'm going to have this applied rather thick. I want this to really be thick when I apply this. So um, let's go ahead and, and jump into that.
so that would be an example of me laying in oil on top of my acrylic in, in this particular painting. So um, I hope that that was something that was useful for you. Um, I do enjoy combining the medium oil acrylic. I, I like to put them together. Um, I think there's tremendous benefit from from either one. And uh, so I, I would just encourage you to explore both of them. Uh, you may prefer one over the other. Uh, but since I enjoy, enjoy both of them uh, quite a bit, I enjoy uh, bringing them together and, uh, and doing my work. So anyhow, thanks so much for tuning in. Um, be looking forward to starting a brand new painting here real soon. And uh, if you've not already done it, I ask that you please subscribe to my YouTube channel and uh, I enjoy your comments, so please keep them coming along. Uh, thanks so much. Until next time, so long.